Hey everyone, please check out my Patreon page. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and there's a lot of nice prizes that are given monthly. Morning YouTube, this is Chuck Gentles. I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm getting ready to uh, do some rock crushing and I've just got some more samples to, to crush. This one appears to be a little iron rock but it's you can see the metallic in it right there and it is kind of rusty and let's see I've got a little bitty magnet here I'm going to try to there he is over there and it's not magnetic at all. This little magnet uh, doesn't do anything. So, so anyhow, uh, it, it appears to be an iron rock, but maybe not. I don't know what all's in this thing. But it's, it's one that we're going to crush and find out. See if there's any gold in it. And we got this one. And you can see in him the, the quartz and the rust staining here the uh, hematite or magnetite in it and uh, it's just a real cobby rock <clears throat> and usually I found that these are pretty good for uh, for having gold in them uh, it's, it's highly mineralized and uh, fairly heavy you know just like the other rock now this one is similar to that. Uh, it's not as uh, cobby as that one is with all the cavities. Uh, it's got more crystalline quartz. Still got rust. A few little cavities here. And it's got some hematite in it or magnetite. Not sure which of these are. It, it didn't seem to be magnetic with the magnet. So, but uh, so these will be more samples we're going to run. And I've got more outside that I picked up, so anyhow, we'll be back when we got something really good to show you. Alright guys, testing's over for this little crusher. So we're going to get some production out of her now. Uh, everything's ready to go. And I've got this bucket of rocks here, all different sizes and shapes. and So we're going to run, try to run this whole bucket and get some production out of this thing. So let's see what we got. So if you remember our last test run, uh, we only had uh, like six, maybe eight rocks. Uh, now we're going to just make a production run here and see how many we can get crushed in a, just a little bit of time. It's about 12.30 our time. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. guys we're going to show you uh, going a little bit finer now I've got a, some of these those eight or ten rocks crushed to this size maybe uh, uh, maybe this is quarter so we're going down much less this is how it's done. I got it down much smaller. Um, yeah, I don't think you can really see it here, but I'll bring you back. 
So that cut that about in half. This is about eight. And we will go a lot smaller. Okay, here's another little batch going through. Here's the batch. So partially crushed. Alright guys, another short clip, uh, four more of me, so we're about uh, half to a quarter here, hopefully this will run okay, we'll see. Good run. So now the process is that tighten this up. Do the other funnel. down about uh, about an eighth. So I'm going to shut you off but no sense to me watch this break rocks. Okay guys this is what the empty bucket weighed. I just weighed it now to get a comparison. Let me see if I can tear this. There we are. We're teared. So this will give us the weight of just this bucket with a crushed rock. Now I can't see it, but we do have a hold button. 
three pounds, well, we'll call it 310. It's 3.96 uh, pounds. Okay, guys, what we're going to do next is we're going to screen this down. Get this in a usable amount of material. Uh, this is a uh, 10, 20, and 30 mesh. So we're going to go 10 plus, uh, 20 plus, 30 plus, and then 30 minus. And that should uh, get us down. And we should, looking at this stuff, this is probably going to be mainly like 20 minus, I think. We'll see. So we're going to have some 30 plus. Throw that in here. Looks like I'm going to have quite a bit of that. That's 30 plus. And let's see. I can't see that. Really well. About right there. So. In this little blue pan is going to be the uh, um, 30 minus. There's a lot of 30 plus. So let's put these back together again. Give it another scoop. And then we'll try to get started panning. Alright guys, we're going to start out with a 30 plus. And I'll show you one pan, then I'll pan the rest out and I'll show you total take. Um, typically there hasn't been in the past any in the 30 plus. And I'm guessing it's going to be the same this way. But you can never tell, you know, so. So we're going to go off the back here. I do have surfactant in the water. That's the soap suds. And as I suspected, nothing. Just a teeny bit of black sand, so. I'm not going to, I'm going to put you through this. I'll just go through it, show you what we get. Okay, guys, I took all the 20 plus down. That what you see left in there. That's it. Uh, absolutely nothing. And not sure about that 30 plus either. I'm pretty sure that that is nothing also. But now we're on the 30 plus. So there could very possibly be something in this. We'll give her a shot. All right, guys, this is the 30 plus, uh, absolutely nothing in it either. And that's exactly what I expected, you know, from the last time. I didn't get anything in any of the plus sizes. So now we're going to go to 30 minus, which will probably be anywhere between 60 and 30 mesh. So I'll be back. This is the 30 minus, and you can see this here is just like face powder right here. This is a little bit bigger. This is more the, the 30, and this is probably the 60 here. So we'll take a little bit of each uh, each time and uh, see what we get. Guy, this one, it had like maybe six uh, micro specs in it, in that face powder stuff. Uh, there's no way I could focus on it, so I can't show it. Um, but we'll keep going here, and uh, as we go through this, if I get anything you can see it because it's smaller than the fly poop that we get out on a creek I mean it's this is really small in this batch so anyhow if I find anything of size I'll show you hey guys I'm going to show you what we got some of this stuff is so small you can't tell if it's really gold or it's uh, something silver they, everything looks the same because they're so little But that's everything that's in my bottle, including all the soap suds from the jet dry. Um, let me 
Let's see if I can get it all up there. In the... I'm not sure you can even see that. But let's see what we can do about that, maybe. And, uh, and I'm trying to chase this little bit of gold. It should be right on it, right about there. But it's very, very, very small, and there's quite a bit of it. But uh, you know, it's it's interesting to be able to do this and take just some generic rocks with some quartz and some black sand in it, and uh, get the gold out of it. You should be looking at it right about there. Hey guys, I know I said I was going to crush up a bunch of rocks and pan them all, pan it all out and uh, that was in this bucket. Well, this is how much we got left. There's a lot left in this bucket. And it was actually harder doing the panning than it was uh, doing the crushing. So, uh, besides that, I just got a batch more rock in. Let me show you. Okay, so this is some highly mineralized rock. This one here actually has some uh, what is this malachite or azurite one of the two I think it's malachite and it but it's mineralized to be the whole get out man it's it does have some bull quartz here I don't see any uh, of the good quartz but it's got lots of mineralization in it just everywhere and it's it's good size it's it's bigger than the palm of my hand so there's that one then there's this one Again, highly mineralized with the clear quartz, which I'm more inclined to use. But uh, we'll see what this other one brings too. But that one's good. And how about this one? This guy is just awesome and heavy. And it's got these little outcroppings of green here, which may be a, like an offshoot of copper. And uh, crystallized here, lots of quartz. And here's another one. Look at this. Look how cobby the surface of this is. It's all co like quartz crystals. And it's broken here, and it looks like it was almost cut right here on this side. And again, here's some of that green right here. Uh, Here's a big patch of that green that I'm thinking could be an offshoot of copper. I can see, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I can see a little sparkle here, and it might be pyrite. Okay, I got one more. Now, these are all good size, palm sized rocks that have to be broken up further, but this guy even looks like it's part of the other one. Cobby is all get out. Look at that. Look at that surface quartz veins in it right here, right there, right there, by my thumb. And again, lots of mineralization here, the rusted sides and the iron sides there. So now I've got lots more rock to, that I need to work with besides these that I need to work with yet and crush. All this is crushable rock. So I'm going to have to do a lot more crushing, I think. Guys, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment. May the bottom of your pan be gold forever. Thank you so much for watching.